The most important part of interviewing is listening. That may sound counterintuitive because you're interviewing, but what you really want to do is have your interviewee, the target persona, do most of the talking. You want to have open-ended questions. You don't want to lead the witness and suggest they have a problem that they haven't actually said that they have. And you also don't want to give them any impression that they should be trying to please you by giving you the right answer. Very important when you're interviewing not to sell your product. You're there to listen and you're there to learn. The more that a interviewee feels like you're trying to pitch them on something you're trying to sell them, the less likely they're going to be to give you the information that you're really looking for. You should always have a facilitator and a note taker who's also an observer. Never recommend more than two people because that can be overwhelming for the person that you're interviewing. But as long as you have two people, one person is listening, observing, potentially recording, which is always a good idea if you can use a cell phone to video record or at least audio record what they're saying and pay attention to body language and other things that might be happening during the interview, they can be quite insightful. Keep in mind, if we're very passionate about a problem that we want to solve, we have a tendency to hear what we want to hear. One suggestion I have when you do interviews is find someone to actually use your interview guideline as opposed to you doing it yourself. That keeps things very objective. You could be the observer and watch what somebody's doing as they're answering the questions. You're more inclined to not bias the person being interviewed if you're just observing and letting the other person do the interview.